Who is it? It's me, Maria. The door was open downstairs. Across this bar, you're looking across the footlights. You've got to put on an act. You may feel like taking an overdose, but you mustn't let it show. That's not what the customers are here for. Dress a bit tight. Well, yes. Give up, Matilda. You're all together, I reckon. There's some days we hardly see Nickers at all. Will you marry me? Hey. Now I've got you. I don't ever want to lose you ever again. Are you serious? Yeah, I've just been looking at the books. It looks like a very good investment. That's if you don't mind running the place for me, that is. Oh, Steve. So you haven't got time for our marriage? When has our marriage got time for me? Well, what's that supposed to mean? It means I've spent years. Years and years and oh, years. Oh, not miserable by nature, oh, Mr. Gilroy, sir. Don't you dare. I've looked some of the bad things. Right, come on, you know that is enough, you. the both of you. No, Steve, I've been biting my tongue long enough. It's the dance. Please. Go for it. Julie and Sean are downstairs. I know. They won't leave you alone. I've been waiting here all day. How did you? Hid in the attic. I like uh, Anne Frank from the Nazis. I've heard everything you said. Give me my baby, please. Our baby. Are you talking to the police? I reckon we can still get away from here if we're careful. No, John, no. Yes. You go downstairs, you get rid of them, and then we'll wait until it's dark and we can sneak out. It won't be easy, but if there's a chance we can all be together... John, there's no chance. You're ill. 
We can adopt new identities. We stack a new life together. I've been thinking about Ireland. Hey, or, or, or maybe even South America. Just give me my baby, please, and go. Go where? I don't care where. Just don't hurt my baby. How can you say that? I can say that because I don't know who you are. And I'm frightened of you. And I want my baby back now. Hope is my baby as much as yours. I would never harm her. I'd die for this little girl. John! No, go! John, please! John! He's got holes, huh? John! Someone stop him! Hang on. Is that John? John! John! This! Oh, my God! He's phone an ambulance now. I'm phoning, I'm phoning. I never saw her. She, she just ran out. Uh, ambulance, please. My friend, she's been knocked over. And, um, we're on Coronation Street in Weatherfield. Thank you. Come on, please. Talk to us, please. Get off me! You couldn't stand to see me happy in the end, could you? Everything's going to be fine, but you've got to trust me. <laughs> All I ever wanted to do is teach. People die because I wanted to teach. You get out! Get out! <laughs> Sorry. I just rushed this full so I thought I'd wash up some glasses and I've just brought one now. Oh, you cut your finger. Oh. What's the matter? Apart from being a useless, stupid cow. <laughs> it's only a glass. It's not about a glass, though, is it? I just, um... I just feel really helpless. Hey. You've done your best for Max. That's all anyone could have ever done. You've got to let it go and stop beating yourself up over it. No, I mean, the more I think about it, I think that lad's had a lucky escape from me. That's not true. Make a great mum. You don't even know me. How do you know that? Don't ask. Out. Well, I can't just sit there. Look, I tried Devon St. Eatersley, Hans. No one's seen him in the chippy. Bro! Do not even think about Leave it. Leave me alone. Says the drunk without a driving license. If you want to go home, fine, but you're getting a taxi. At least, at least have the manners to say goodnight. Come. Whoa. All right, you've made your point. Come. Carla, slow down. Leon! Just slow down, will you? Leon! Carla, look out! Break! Break! Carla! What if he was hit by the car? Stella's got head injuries, but she's also losing blood. <laughs> do as I say, and we'll both be fine. I can't do this. Oh, thought I heard the telly. Yeah, it's gone midnight. I couldn't sleep. I thought I'd try and soothe myself with the shopping channel. Is it working? No. You know, he didn't mean what he said. Yeah, he did. And he's right. It, it's just been really hard for us. Why didn't you call? I couldn't. But I'm your mother. You could have called me. I didn't know what to do, ma'am. I still don't. I don't know what you mean. It's either a dream or a nightmare, I'm not sure which. Tracy, what's happened? I'm pregnant. And it's Steve's. Mum, what do I do?
Just wondering if I was too hard on Sophie. You can't get it right all the time. No, I don't want to lose her as well, though. I'll have no family left. Anyway, you've heard enough about my problems. I don't mind. It takes my mind off my own. <sighs> Anyone ever tell you you're a good listener? No. Well, you are. So, thank you. Well, it sounds like we're good for each other right now. I right, best get going. Okay. Will you be okay? I'll survive. I've survived worse after all. Well, uh, well you take care then. Yeah, you too. Good night. I'm sorry, I shouldn't... I... Tracy. I was so scared, man. It was horrible. Horrible. No, I'm here now, love. Everything's going to be all right. Come on. Mum. Come on, be a brave girl. Mum. Oh. Please, no. <laughs>